la la life. Office hours. I forgot. I, I forgot. I had headphones in. I can't do a full spin. I was going to try to do a full spin and then realize my ears would explode. Hi, everybody. Gonna ruin everything. What's yeah. up? I'm Andrew Hawkrattle. I'm Nick Longo. Welcome. And today we're cultivating creativity, right, Nick? Yes. Nick, like that, that was shirt. that was literally last week's theme was cultivate. I we I, missed it. I told you it's my favorite word. All I right. this is the uh, this is our like, our tagline at our school. So it's kind of like. Uh, I love it. It's, it works for everything, right? Um, it works well, for everything. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are Office Hours. We do this show every single Wednesday here at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we help you level up in your creative careers. Each week, we pick a theme and we explore that theme through the lens of creativity and a little bit of tech today. Uh, Ooh, yeah, a lot of everything. Yeah, uh, right? So it's, Nick, a, it's a good week. What is our, also, sorry, for reference, chat, if you're watching live, you're down here today. I know you're used to being up here, but today you're down here. So if you see me looking down, that's where you live. Um, Nick, is your chat in the same place? Yeah, uh, my chat is, I'm firing it up right now. Okay, cool. I've been relying on yes. it on our main screen, but we're good. Chat, if we're you feel good. unstable, Nick is going to be your rock today. Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and hop in. Nick, what is our theme for today? Today's theme is recycle. Yes, it is recycle. And we're gonna be talking about it in two different ways. So we're gonna be talking about recycling your work, but then we're also gonna mention, what's the other side of recycling? How we can help recycle and reuse things and eco-friendly, you name it. So in fact, we're just going to play an old episode. We're just going to play an old episode. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in. Recycling today is going to be the episode that we showed last week. And See you next play. week. <laughs> I'm going to go eat a burrito. Uh, no, we're going to show you how to recycle uh, your old work, your old ideas, bring them back with a new life. But then we're also going to show you some great examples of sustainable products and maybe some ways that you can create sustainably uh, with design. So let's hop in. Let's get started with Trend Watch. We didn't get, I lost Nick, Andrew, hold on, hold on chat. What hold happened? On. We, <laughs> Spinning wheels. No, there this is go. my fault. Nick, <laughs> tell us about creativity. <laughs> creativity, yes. I need you, Nick, We're I need cultivating you to fill. creativity. I'm going to fill a little bit today. Um, let us know if you have recycled something in the past while we're waiting. Put it in chat for sure. Here's Trendworthy. Look at us go. Oh, and, and, and there he hey. is. We got it. We got there it, we Nick. And look at chat. You're right there. Wow. We're oh my gosh. We're doing it, Peter. We're using our imaginations. I love it. All right, trend this watch is today. Fantastic. Um, like big news. Big news. Big news from big our news. friends at Hoodspa Design. Um, hello, if you're watching, they do watch this show sometimes. Um, hi, Amy. Hi, Jen. This is an incredible project for industrial light and magic. Nick, do you want to talk a little bit about Hudspa? Just give context for what they are, who they do, so that people yeah, who Southern California-based Orange County Jen and Amy Hood running Hudspa Design. Uh, they've been friends of our program, friends of ours for quite a long time, and they just dropped a a bomb in the design world of Bro. just like, oh, by the way, <laughs> you know that little company, Industrial Light and Magic. Well. I didn't even know they needed a rebrand. I didn't even know they had a brand, right? Like they're they're such an entity. And one thing we wanted to do was not only show you a little highlight of what they just did with this case study, but I don't think I've seen a better like masterclass in layout design and in showing off your work than this project. Yes, and I the agree. scope of what we can do as designers, right? Yep. Absolutely. Uh, and Gareth and Chad is saying, it's not office hours without the fails. They're not fails, they're features. Yes, um, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> when we're talking about recycling, I do want to talk about this project specifically. One, because it is the hot topic right now. Two, it's freaking amazing. And three, I love seeing this logo history of ILM. And when you're working on a creative project, especially branding, it's so important to have the context behind it. Um, and this is actually the one that I'm most familiar with. I don't know why, but like, this is the one that's in my brain. And um, see, mine was the, the, the magician guy with the top hat. Really? The, at, at the very top. Like, I think that's the one that that one there, because it was, it had that whole carnival circus magician magic vibe. Yeah, it's magic. There. Yeah. I, I've never seen that other one. But then look at the, 
the, oh my god they've had like three since then like, yep. it's incredible so yeah. this is what i'm talking about when i'm talking about recycling yeah. is they're kind of taking the elements that have existed there and reimagining them right that they're taking the ideas the concepts the core values of this visual language and recycling them into something new right taking it and giving it a new life um i love this nick What's your take on the ampersand here? <laughs> oh, it's it's so Jen and Amy. It's like there's so that so hutzpah. It has that like it has this like kind of like tilted back like who me like just the coolest little. Touch. It's like an ampersand like looking over the shoulder like oh Go, I yeah. didn't see you there. Yeah, in this exactly. Brand. exactly. Uh, right. really oh, I is. could do this. I could do this on the top. I don't have to curve all the way around. Yep. You know. And I but, love um, when we're talking yeah, about case studies. Stuff. Yeah, this we're talking about case studies. This is like yeah. the best case study. Oh my goodness. And and not only showing previous and then kind of new and revised, but taking inspiration in what each element is there for. Why does it exist? Why is it there? The rationale, the fact that they like talk to all the different employees who had been there. I think there was something in the conversation that they have a really great retention there, right? People stay there for a long time. So why not talk to the employees about what does this company mean? And then you're representing talk about cooks in the kitchen right like i'm like i only want to talk to like two people about a brand <laughs> yes but getting all this stuff and then incorporating the animation into oh these God. things it is a motion picture company right it is this company why not add that to the whole canvas this is great oh my gosh uh, i believe ethan silva was the one that did these if you're looking for a great animator i there think it was go. even ethan silva uh, but yeah. yeah, this is just an incredible, and we talk about recycling again, taking elements that exist and reimagining them. We've talked about this a million times on this show is if you are making a brand, give them names for their colors. Yeah. And I love yeah. that they pulled these from DeLorean silver. Yes. Like it's great. They're right? all from things that Rogue ILM worked green. on. Mm -hmm. Yep. And show the business cards because I think that's my funnest. That's the best part. Yeah. Look at the, did you, did you notice the names on there? Oh yes. Yes. Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> yep. Han Solo. They're all just business cards for the people that it would. Yeah. That's and think so of fun. where what that would mean to a client if you took those little extra steps as even if it's concept, right? And it's before the real deal and the printing, but to show it off, these little things that says you've done your homework on the company. Um, also, their layouts for like um, pitch decks and things like that are all based on storyboard layouts. So here they show what a typical storyboard looks like. The graph has inspired the layout for whatever it might be, production schedule, first looks, things like that. So finding things that are all relevant to the brand, you've done your homework. That's that's what every client wants you to do, you know? It's so good. Uh, it's so good. I was, I was talking to them and I was like, you guys realize that this is like, pentagram collins level work like no and i was like no like this is the like we've talked about case studies that have not been as good as this on the show like this is yeah. top tier um yeah. especially when you see like every application is just so good yeah well you nailed it when we were talking earlier because with a company like this you, it, it ha it's so expressive it has so much history and background they've touched all these major movie tent poles over the years how do you then reflect them into a brand themselves and i think you have to be safe you can't go out there and just do something so ridiculously you know kind of like curveball with something like this so we've always said pentagram is kind of in that zone too right they work for these big companies and they whatever but dare i say i think they found a way to bring more of a personality to it than yeah. what we see with some of the biggest. And I think that's the beauty of being a small boutique company is you could still have that attention to detail. Yep. You know? Absolutely. This man, they did merch. I don't think I've seen the merch. Oh, you got to get the tote. I love that they have the tote in there. Yes. Gorgeous. Go. Old school. Gorgeous. Oh My man. Goodness. I almost want to get like a, a 3d glasses and do a little offset of that logo. Oh on a yeah. T-shirt. Make, make it look three dimensional when yes. you're looking at it through some lenses. That would be cool. Yes. So, Thank you, Amy and Jen. Incredible work. Uh, you started off our show with the trend watch. You are the trend to watch. Uh, Hoods yes. Design. Go give a follow. Let them know that Office Hours sent you. I think they're posting that some of that work over on their Instagram as well. Um, so 
with that, we're gonna move into some DIY and we're gonna move into DIY because we wanna show you how we recycle our work. Uh, Nick and I both have some projects that we have mm -hmm. used in the past to inspire future projects, um, or we have projects that haven't gone anywhere that we're waiting to use something for. Uh, so Nick, let's go ahead and hop yeah. over to your screen and we can get started with this project that you have. That's my screen, there you go. Ooh, you just want to show I just my old show terrible this logo. logo. Look at this guy. Look at that so, guy. So talk about recycling a logo. I I I worked this one to the to the very bare bones of the last year, and this took into more of a contemporary one. But this is going back. I wanted to when we were talking earlier, we were like, let's go back to something that maybe you did as a passion project too, or something that because in most cases, if if it kind of hits the the cutting room floor, it it doesn't really. I'm not going to use it again in maybe a color palette or a font, but this program is something I did just for the fun of it. I live in uh, an area of LA called the San Fernando Valley and their representation has never been that strong. So what I wanted to do was come up with this idea of this, of maybe a brand for that city and it did get shot down. They were not interested in it at any way. Um, the chamber of commerce was just kind of like, I don't get it. And I was like, whoa, maybe I got to hold off on this. Oh. But this was like six, seven years ago. So I'd love to do it again. But here's here's what we did. We came together with the things about the mountain ranges and all of the different trees and the, uh, the fact that the water supply and the aqueduct comes from this unique area that farmers um, kind of helped develop when the city had its first stages. And then the mission and the arches that are always used throughout and everything. So one of the things we did was we just kind of started messing around with some certain things and we did this logo and gave it all the breakdown of why each piece is in there. And to, sh to kind of make it full circle was the village was the latest and greatest thing that was added to the city. So we took all the history plus the new and created this brand for them. And again, it's sitting here, it just in my Dropbox and I haven't done anything with it in forever. And I would love to maybe try to find a way to figure out what we could do to kind of redo it. The coolest thing was when I got to this one here, I entered it and it won one of the um, logos of the year in Logo Lounge. Oh, heck yeah. Just, just because I, you know, talk about uh, things like that, where if you wanna make a Behance page or you wanna put something on your, your portfolio, who cares if no one bought it? If you made it and you're really excited about it, you know, I think it's cool to look back and maybe recycle some of these things and put them back into the limelight you know, Absolutely. a little bit. And yeah, and that's kind of my favorite thing to do. And then again, I we think we've shown this a lot too. I love showing everything in like one at a glance kind of image when it comes to here. But I don't know, I think little parts like the, this thing here became a recycled piece, this little archway with the, kind of like the stone yep. uh, construction that made it into a program last year. So I, I guess in some way I made a little a little of recycling. <laughs> yep, I was gonna say of all of them, that feels like the most versatile, and that's what's that's what really what you're looking for when you're trying to recycle an idea is yeah. like what ideas could be other yeah. things, and like of that sheet, timeless. Yeah, timeless. of that sheet, I think that top right is like a timeless. Like, yeah, this could be for like Arizona, it could be for travel, it could be for wine, it could be go. for a lot of things, and just kind of bookmark that in your head as it goes into your Dropbox and <laughs> yes, think like, exactly. oh, if I get a client like that, then I can use this, right? Mm -hmm. um, which yeah, it's cool. So, so true. I'll yeah. hop over to mine. Here's a project that I would love to recycle. Actually, I'll show you one that I recycled first. Um, oh, so this is a logo for Parkview Legacy Foundation. Uh, they're, I think, a nonprofit. I should know this. I don't know. Uh, but this little tree logo, uh, I did the little tree logo on top. And this tree logo, I initially made probably 10 years ago. Um, uh -huh. And my mom's, or sorry, my friend's mom had like a book club that like they met in the park and read books or whatever. And I was like, oh, nice. I'll make them a logo. And I was a design student at the time. I'm like, oh, I'll make them a logo. It'd be like a fun little thing. And she like hated it. And I was like, this is a really fun logo. It used to have another bar at the bottom. So it was like a full circle. And I was like, the yeah. symmetry of this logo is really good. I like this logo. Didn't go anywhere, right? It sat in a file yeah. forever. So then we got this client and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so good. Like Parkview is a uh, like, park right and it's actually a local mm -hmm. park uh here in town and so it's something that's like okay cool like this could really work for it so we started pitching ideas and it came down to this and i was like cool 
I think that this is finally going to get life as a mark. Uh, and so we took it, then we started adapting it into different uses, pulled colors. Um, I don't have any of the uses in here, do I? Uh, we started using it, there we go, uh, with all of these kind of curves and lines as kind yeah. of the system being those pull out curves, those different lines. And it kind of evolved into something more than just that mark. But it really started as, again, me just making a mark for my friend's book club uh, that was symmetrical. I wanted to play with symmetry and I was like, hey, look, it's a cool thing. Um, so speaking of moms, weird transition, Nick, what what project is this? <laughs> I did. There's no backstory. There's no backstory. It's just the, the, the theme today is a mom's happy Mother's I, Day. I was looking through old things that uh, this was something I did for a friend of mine. She has a podcast called Momhood. Um, and it was funny. It was one of those ones where I wasn't so confident about giving this out as the the one and done. You know, a lot of times, have you ever been oh, that confident we love the about one and doing done. that? Yeah. Whoa, right? And so to me, I was sitting here going like, I still have this. We went in a complete other direction that turned into something really, really cool. Strictly based on her her inspiration, she came up with this great idea and that became the winner. But I love going back to things like this and being like, wow, I, I love this effect. It's not a particular style. Maybe I would have done the color palette was based off of some really cool inspiration we found. So it's not my typical color palette too. And I just love finding those too. Maybe the color palette can be repurposed in some way or shape or form. I think also like doing things that feel a little recycled. The whole idea behind this one was like, she wanted to find those things that were handed down over generation and kind of things like that, that could be like, what can you get inspired by from maybe what your mom or one of your parents did? So it was a neat kind of way of bringing in that recycled kind of like corrugate color as yeah. well. You know? Yeah, yeah. and I think but, that like, there's something about having a recycled project that helps you not start from scratch. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that yeah. that is such Good a point. huge benefit when you're creative and you're working on a brand or starting a design is having somewhere to work off of always saves you hours and hours and hours. And so like, yes. I see this and this is very uh, like Bob Ewing to me. Do you know Bob? Well, yeah. Okay, Bob's so yeah, best. Bob's oh, incredible. 100%. Uh, he actually is joining us later this month for a lettering boot camp. If y'all want to learn how to letter, Bob Ewing's one of the best. Um, but I love the colors on this and the style. And this feels so different from like Longo work. Like in my yeah. brain, I'm like, this doesn't feel like Nick Longo. But yeah. Yeah. I could see you adapting these colors and this kind of style into a project that I would be like, oh yeah, that's a Nick Longo design. And so I love that it exists as like a reference for you to use eventually. Yeah, and it's uh, the, the, you. You bring up a good point. It's like a memory. It's like a bookmark again on something you might have worked on. So when you're struggling with a new project, and it comes into play, and you're like, "Oh, there was that color palette I already like, kind of like hammered out and got into a really good kind of zone in that old job. Let me find it." So what's the what's the value here? Like, never delete anything. Never right? delete. We were just anything. saying anything. Like, find your system of backup of time machine whatever it might be. I have tons of stuff even on the creative cloud kind of drive. That's always a good spot to keep a lot of cool things just so you know they're always there and you can kind of get to them with any device. Yep. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I even have, uh, speaking of, I literally have a folder that just says logos. I was looking for projects to show you all and I literally have a file that just says logos and this is in my creative cloud. Um, I don't know when I made this. I don't know. I know what some of these are, but it literally yeah. is just like, here's a bunch of logos. And I'm like, these are just logos that I've made over the years that are sitting uh, in a folder for me to use. <laughs> that is so cool, dude. I what love are we doing that. here? Yeah. What are we? All right. Back to Nick. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, I was just trying to look for some other things that were done back in that day for that piece. And I don't think I have them. Are these them? Hold on. Uh, yeah, here they are. Oh, here's everything. Look at it. See again, never delete anything because you look might be these. doing a show. Are these uh, long, these aren't even long ago, are they? <laughs> those are so not long ago. The I can oh, right. That's wild, Nick. This was and you're you know there's a lot of I'm glad you mentioned Bob because when 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 he shows off his hand lettering skills and his vector work. He, he, his work was a huge inspiration for this. And I think he had just done a, a visit in our class. And that's why I was still so kind of like hot on this idea of like, this is, this is where I want to go. And again, it's like what we talked about last, last week of like, 
not really having a style that's all yours. I love having this versatility to go from one thing to the next and find those things that can really be kind of fun. Oh, here's some more. That's there's really that. fun. Ooh, I like that type. Bit. I like yeah, colors. That cool? And I like that yeah. there's pieces of these that we like. Like, I don't think either of us like any of these, but I think that there is exactly. a thing on all of these mm -hmm. that we're like, that's interesting at least. Yeah, see, I was really pushing on this one. I was oh, like, yeah. I love it. It has everything. Then we were trying all the different colors, oh, those colors values, are so and stuff. Fun. Trying for that old university vibe and kind of, you know, but then giving it this kind of mis mix match. And she's she's such a creative herself, Orly, who uh, does this. If you want to check her out now, her name is Orly Shani, and she does an incredible podcast and video stuff on all this kind of cool thing. She's got like three brands. It's just, I love working with people that just, feel as creative as we are. Those are some of the best people. Yes, work, right? I agree. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show a project that hit the cutting room floor. Uh, so this is a project that hasn't gone anywhere that I am waiting to recycle because I think it's a really strong idea. Um, and I think that that's the thing. If you have a really strong idea, just keep it in the back of your head, save those files. And when the right, like, need comes in, you'll have the idea mm. ready. So this is basically the idea for this brand was a brand uh, or a award show that celebrates the people at the bottom of the credits, right? So it's like key grips and like the people that work on movies that like nobody cares about that are at the end, like a full award show for them. And so I thought like, how could we build this? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool to do like the end title cards as a bit of the uh, brand, right? So I pulled mm -hmm. illustrations from like old movies, lots of kind of brutalist stuff. Love this kind of texture happening here and then started playing around with the voice, right? And so I defined the voice and I love this little like cutoff element. I think that again, from things that I want to recycle, I love the idea of something feeling like it's scrolling in every application that like oh, everywhere yeah. it feels like it's in motion and it's not mm -hmm. just like cutting into the next thing. It's like, oh, this is the slide and it's getting cut off because it's like constantly in motion. Um, yeah. And so I think that idea is super fun that I want to recycle. I love this lockup of some kind of logo that has blocks that I can put images, textures, anything into that like recontextualizes yeah. it. Um, and so again, it might not be for an actual like award show that I'm going to do this branding, but there are a lot of elements that I'm like, these were good ideas that I haven't used in other projects that would be good to use for a project. Um, love the idea of variable identifiers. Uh, I do this yeah. in most of my projects. I don't like logos. I like just creating things that identify the brand. Um, applications. I can see this on uh, AMC, you 100%. know? A hundred percent. Is that it? American Movie Classics, yes. right? Like, yeah. The yeah. red carpet being the freaking mm -hmm. logo scrolling. Yes. It's <laughs> such a good idea. Um, so yes, I love this. Welcome to the Z list. It's not even the A or B list, the very yeah. bottom of the credits. Uh, we did a full signage system for this. I, dude, I freaking love this brand. I want to recycle this so bad. Uh, and then uh, a kind of a note to myself, hey, here's the visual language. Here are the elements that are interesting about this brand. And this is where I recycle stuff. Anytime I'm working on something that doesn't go anywhere and it just dies, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. What are the elements that communicated well and could I use them somewhere else, right? Extreme yeah. width with dots. I could use this in another brand and make it really cool to have that like dot kind of going through of like, maybe it's a pause, maybe it's a long phrase. Uh, the punch outs, uh, like all this is things that I'm like, yeah, I could do this. Uh, also creating variable fonts. I love creating variable fonts for clients of being able to do like different applications using variable fonts. So any key that you would type would do a different letter or a different uh, width block. And then any number would be that amount of dots. So you could create those really long Perfect. kind of applications. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of ideas here that I'd love to recycle. Ooh, somebody um, did an animation. Let me see this here. The neat yeah. thing too is like any of these things that might not have been liked by a particular client, you're, you're also right. It's not about just taking graphics and using again. It's the idea behind what you just did. Yes. You know? Yep. And mm -hmm. this is something that I was very excited about that I had a blast making. And those are the things that like shouldn't hit the cutting room floor, right? This is something mm -hmm. that like I think about all the time um, and like want to do something like this. And it just sits in the back of my mind. Uh, and so 
exploring this kind of stuff is great for recycling and sometimes just recycling for the sake of recycling is great like go and explore oh, yeah. something find an old idea and explore what it could be and then maybe you'll land on something for a project you're working on or for a client that is coming up um it's a great idea please freaking hire me to do some kind of i, I <laughs> want to do this so bad um i say okay. you just put on the event and do it yourself. <laughs> like, why? Why wait for someone to say yes? Should. That'll be fun. You just say yes. That's, right. That's that's my whole thing. Um, yeah. Also, this is completely side note. Look at this. this oh came up on my gosh. Instagram today, y'all. 163 weeks ago, we had the first episode of Office Hours, April 17th, my birthday. Um, 106. So that's somewhere we're at about 160 episodes. We're about I'm yeah, assuming? yeah, but yeah, probably wow. yeah, probably close to that. Uh, so thanks for sticking with us, y'all. Uh, almost... Talk about recycling social media graphics. Now show them the old, the old one-two punch with the latest. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh yeah, what's with the latest? Uh, where is our latest? Actually, it's the thumbnail. You guys can see it. It's a, th it's yeah. a thumbnail. We have you definitely uh, <laughs> right made some steps. Made some new steps there. Oh, that's uh, the best. That's like that. Uh, that just cracks me up. Oh my god, 163 weeks ago. It's wild. What? How did that happen? How did that happen? I don't know. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and switch uh, gears a little bit. Uh, do we do do we do like a little like mini intro back in? Uh, let's do that. Hold on, okay, yeah. everybody, everybody, buckle up. This is going to be a, a mid-show uh, new show. Here we go. All right, so on this episode of Office Hours, our theme is recycle, and Nick, we're talking about not the kind of recycling where you recycle your old work. <laughs> Yeah, we're, <laughs> which we we try every day. We had an episode of that. Uh, we're we're doing uh, recycling as in sustainability. Um, yeah, sustainability is a huge thing within design and especially within packaging design. Which Nick, do you do any packaging design? Is that like something you're interested in? Uh, I'd love to get into it a little bit more. It's a little scary because of how much how much eco friendly things you have to know and things like that. And you know, so that yes, I do. Nick loves packaging. I love um, packaging. So packaging is the best. Yes, Nick, I'm gonna let you talk about this project because it's just gorgeous. Um, and talk a little bit about oh nope, there we go. Uh, a little about about what they did. So this also, what is this website? If people want to get context and information, what is this website? I know it's one of your biggest inspirations. Yeah, Dyline is, it's thedyline.com, and it is the world's biggest packaging blog, you name it. They do awards, they do trade shows now, um, but on a daily basis, it's just a great place to go for packaging inspiration. One of their big pillars is all about sustainability. Packaging is by far one of the biggest areas that we can touch as creatives and designers where we can make a difference with the amount of materials we use, the inks we use, the lack of plastics. There are spots all over UK and Europe where it is forbidden to use plastic in any kind of food packaging. It's pretty yep. incredible. We think about what we grab and, and go with each day and what we just toss out. Why we're showing you this was it was their best of show winner. And you're all maybe familiar with the company Sonos. They're a California based um, Bluetooth speaker company. They make, inc they're basically turning over like what we used to have as huge sound systems throughout our home. These are just wireless, beautiful speakers. Their aesthetic, their design is beautiful, but where they nailed it was their packaging. And why this one is because every element of it is paper based. And I'm sure you've all gotten something that weighs a few pounds in the mail, right? You're going to have those plastic things and styro, you know, everything's covered in styrofoam, right? All that stuff to package it. They were able to create it in this beautiful design and it's literally all paper based. Corrugate, recycled. Look at even the little tray there at the top where that goes in. And so minimal, minimal printing too. I think that's kind of a neat thing as well. Um, this is a this is a piece that is sold mostly online. Oh. So when you're getting oh, that's just stop. Yeah, <laughs> just that. Look Thanks that. for coming, guys. We're, we're done with design. Uh, everyone here. <laughs> I I quit. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is so neat too because think about it as well. You're getting this in the mail. The packaging almost has to just re reassure you that you made a great purchase, right? This is a premium item. It's not selling so much on shelves this way. So they with less ink with more attention to detail in craftsmanship and in a sustainability, this is quite an incredible win for them to do. And I believe they do a lot of it in-house, which is kind of unique too. Yep, and I, this is this was interesting because this is what I, I was thinking about. Um, 
like ink, right? That you mentioned mm -hmm. like you're using less ink. What a great way to be sustainable by using less ink, right? That's like, oh, just emboss it. Like we don't need to print on it. Let's just emboss it, right? And that's in the die cut. So if it's, so yes. think about it. this has to be pressed and die cut to, to, to be trimmed. Why not put the embossed logo in there as well? But again, I, I mean, you know, this is stuff you would not throw away. I, 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 I don't throw away any like tech boxes. I keep almost everything just, at, you know, in case there's ever like a return or something like that. Just in case. But, but more or less, I think it's more like a little gallery yep. <laughs> in one of in one of some of my shelves yep. of all the money I've spent on this stuff. But I, I'm a big believer in this stuff, too. I'm a, I love this brand. I own their stuff. It, it, it to me, it's like what an incredible way to show your commitment. Th that's the best thing I think the best takeaway here and I think you might agree you could do something really small on a product and be like oh our cap is made of recyclable thing but nothing else is right that's just to put the badge on there that you're eco-friendly but this is talking the talk yeah. right and walking the walk yep sure. absolutely and I do like that the packaging um only uses black and white right and that's why I stopped yeah. on this image is they're only using black grayscale. and white and like tones of grayscale and so they're not using color inks Right, it's mm -hmm. probably super minimal. I'm actually curious uh, if, let's see if there's any mention of ink. There's not. I'm well, curious. Could be soy based or something. I was gonna say yeah. I'm curious if it's like soy based, uh, like Risograph ink. Uh, yes. Because I know that's like so soy, soy based. Okay for the environment. Because uh, this would be super easy to do. That it's just black and white. Get soy based, and it is like fully sustainable packaging. Uh, I think this yeah. is awesome. Also, I saw this yeah. right now. I haven't looked at this. Uh, but Coca-Cola bottler and milk, uh, returnable Coke Zero bottle try. Oh, returnable oh, Coke Zero bottle? That would be fantastic. That's interesting. Wow. But the, you know what's interesting, too, is like we've gotten so – there's the convenience factor that usually stops the sustainability thing. The convenience of just being able to throw away something. But the glass – is like something you you're almost forced to have to do right yep. you're almost like you don't want to throw that away um so it's kind of interesting too but there are really cool unique ways too that you can incorporate this into let's say you're doing something for a project for for a brand or something a lot of times too i'm sure you're familiar with this you can gang up the work on one sheet of paper rather than do it in multiple sheets and basically you're being more efficient with the paper that you're using for a project yep. what, what are the things that you think that we could do that would be something unique in our little small worlds. You know? um, I think business cards could be a good thing. Um, uh oh, <laughs> it's a long day, guys. That one snuck up on me. Sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> I think business cards are something that we could probably get rid of. Um, yeah. Which, with the new thing, the the Apple thing, that's like a boop, boop, and you can just like boop. tap it. Uh, Again. Putting every other brand that I use out of business. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, but you also could create your business cards digitally. And it's very easy mm -hmm. to create them digitally. Um, we are going to show you how to do that right now. How to create a digital business card in a segment that we like to call DIY. Honestly, Nick, I'm a little disappointed that we haven't been getting like DIY or like transition sounds because we always get Nick transition sounds uh, and we haven't been getting them. And it makes me, I, it makes me <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry. So, so Nick, I'm going to hop over to your screen uh, real quick and then yeah, we are going to show off Adobe Express. So we're going to be working in Adobe Express today uh, to yeah. create some business cards uh, and it's going to be a grand old time. And the best thing about Adobe Express is you're being you're being it's sustainable right we can create as many variations totally. as we want and we can create a qr code that goes directly to that which is that pretty is cool true. as well nick where are we going to start with our business cards so i just did a quick little search in our search bar at the top for business card let's say you are kind of want a blank canvas you know ex exactly what you want to do great but for this sake, I'm going to try to find something that's a little bit fun and different and looking through some of these ideas here. There's some cool stuff. This is kind of fun. I like that. But I also know I want to have something cool where I'm going to leave some space for the QR code that we're going to do. Right. And I love this one because I was like, ooh, we got perfect space there for that. Lotus almost feels about the same as Longo. So <laughs> I'm just messing around and that's see what we can sure, do. Actually, yeah. I was like, ooh, there's a there's an easy one to kind of fix. So I'm just gonna put in something here as well and try that out. That looks good. I don't think this maybe is the best thing for me here. So I wanna replace it, right? 
I'm gonna hit replace. And then I'm over here and for, I just wanted to see if there's anything cool in the design world. Maybe, oh, of course, look at that. Of course, if we got this. Ooh, <laughs> a little like pen tool. A perfect idea as well. But let's see, I'm gonna keep looking here. So when I click on this and I want to replace it, Will it replace? Uh, it I is forget. grouped right now. So I, I think ah. that you would need to, oh no, no, uh, top right. So yeah, if you select it, top right where it has replace, yes. Yes. You're doing okay, it right. There we go. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna go back to here and we're gonna put in design and see. In chat, when I you think I'm not paying attention, sorry, for stuff. context chat, when yes. you see my screen, you'll understand why I'm not paying attention. I just wanted to like give a caveat. There's a reason that you all will yeah. appreciate, but yes, I, Nick, sorry, go, go ahead. You were doing it correctly. No worries. All right, cool. I wanna try to get that color in there as well. We're like, we're getting in those fun little graphics. I love that it's all kind of like line based rather than big fills here. So yes. we're actually outlined. I also like the idea of there. doing a vertical business card because I like Same. I like the vertical business card better. But you can't hand somebody a vertical business card. Like, yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. But digitally, I'm like, yeah, that's the that's the size of my phone. That's what my phone does. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to put with fine design in mind. Oh, come on. Is that not cool? Oops, Ooh, wrong. a little magic text. <laughs> magic. There we are. Sweet. And then let's make that just a bit bigger right now. We're at 3.4. I'm going to bring it up to like eight. No, Ooh, whoa, too, way too big. Go back here. And let's see if we can make this what, five. Nope, too big. We'll go back. Let's hit four right in the middle. Come on now. Oh, too big still? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Whatever you're doing, Nick, that's, yep. It's, it's look, getting there somewhere. Looking right? great. Yep. So we're off to a good start here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. What's this? What do you do with smallest size on your business card? Do you kind of keep I think it around nine. seven? Nine is nine? like, yeah, nine is what I had read with. It was the most readable. Um, yeah. I did. So I used to work in an organization that had like 200 employees and yeah. I actually printed something out and it had like phrases and then went around and was like, what is the smallest that you can read this at? And then took the average of what that was of like the te demographics of like the 200 people. Yeah. Uh, and then that's where I got my nine number from. But I'm just like, that was the number that was the smallest font size that everyone could see. Um, yeah. That was like felt accessible. So I usually do nine. I gotcha. That's a good one. I would say, I think a lot of people too, I know if you get really kind of artsy and you can do something really small, the first thing I get from a client is like, none of our clients are gonna be able to read that. <laughs> yeah. And so it's kind of like figuring that out and seeing. So, all right, I'm gonna do 22. That looks like it's gonna be in line nicely as well. Perfect. So I'm off to a good start. So now I've been in this zone before and I know Andrew's 10 times more proficient in the Adobe Express world. If I want to add the asset here of the um qr code i'm assuming i'm going to go in here and, and go to is it design elements what are we going to do um i think that we couldn't we can't generate it in the product but we can generate it uh in a workaround so i'll show you the workaround. okay perfect. so here there you go okay <laughs> okay chat if you see my face, I haven't been looking at all about what's going on because I found the greatest template of all time that I'm going to be using oh, no for way. my business cards. Let's see. Oh uh, my gosh, I can't wait to see this. And here's what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy with these business cards. We have just summed up the both of us in a, in a nutshell. That's true. That's so true. <laughs> this is Nick's business card and a hundred percent, I would run this as my business card and be like, I don't know. Let's hang out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that is so the best. This is a business card. So what I would do is I probably would go to share right here, um, mm -hmm. and then I would go to uh, publish. So I click on publish here, and it's going to give me a link. So this link right here, I can copy that link. It's going to say, "Hey, getting that link ready," and I'm saying, "Ooh, let me have that link." Working on it. There you go. Yes, work. Work on that. Yes, work on that link. Okay, oh, that 41%. cat's a lot of pixels. That, that cat's a lot of pixels. Mine, mine just went zoom. Thick boy. Um, <laughs> he's thick. Okay, so we're gonna copy this, and then what I would do actually is I would just go to uh, Adobe Express, uh, yeah. and I would do one of the quick actions. So quick actions are super helpful if you haven't used them before. All you need to do is click on QR code, generate QR code. And then I'm going to paste that link right here, generate QR code. I can even pick the colors or if they're like circular dots 
and then I can pick the color type. So I'm gonna do a PNG and we'll maybe do it in this kind of block. So I'm gonna hit download right there. My image is being downloaded and I can come back to my project and let's go ahead and upload that. So we're gonna go to photos. I'm gonna go to upload photo. Look at my- What format did you do? PNG. PNG? So can you change color? Uh, Nick, can we change color? Kind of. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is it's here. I'm gonna show you a trick uh, because yes, what? you can change color, but there's a trick to it. But an SVG, would that be able to be color changeable in Express? No. Maybe. No. Actually, oh, I'll maybe. Try it. Try it. Possibly. Oh. There we go. Maybe. Um, so what I'm gonna do as my workaround is I am going to go to filters and turn on filters and then use this duo tone. And the duo tone is gonna allow me to change the darks to one color and the lights to one color. And thankfully I'm using black and white. Uh, and so I can very, very easily just change these to whatever color I want them to be, right? Super easy. There you go. Um, that's ugly. All right, let's do, mm, okay. Well, let's just keep that black and white. Uh, so the darks are gonna be on the left and then the lights are gonna be on the right and that is going to be white and that looks good to me. So all I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit. I'm actually gonna zoom out here. There we go. And just scale this over. All right, and now we got my professional business card ready to go. Um, and right now, so if I printed this and I handed it to someone, they could scan this. Or I could just have this image on my phone. Like I literally could have this QR code just as my phone backdrop when I went to a um, conference. And mm -hmm. if you scan it, here, let me let me zoom. Let me cook, let me cook. <laughs> 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 okay, um, so everyone, you can scan this and see what happens. I'm actually curious. Here we go. Hold for it. Wait for it. Did it open it for you, Nick? Did you scan it? Uh, Anyone else in chat? Did it scan oh, it for you? Did it work? Because it didn't link to it for me. It didn't. It didn't. It opened Adobe Express, but it didn't link to it. And in my brain, it should be linking to it. I'm stressed. Weird. Chat, Let's see. Oh. is this working for you? Let's there see. was someone that just laughed on the music in the background, and it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> All right, chat, let me know if that's working for you. I don't know why this isn't working. It linked it linked to it for me. Okay, well, it's probably because it's my project. Okay, so it worked. Great. Um, and so this could be my digital business card. I could just set this as my background, and then people could uh, come and look at it. Well, the cool thing is, uh, if you are at that link that I just did right here. So this is gonna take uh -huh. me directly to it. I, oh, I'm not gonna give it away yet. I actually have come over here to the uh, animation section and I have animated this with a zoom. So now when I play, oh, Hypno Kitty, uh, <laughs> the Hypno Kitty flies in. And now when I have somebody at a conference scan that uh, QR code, it links to a video and I get a motion. Uh, a motion business card, which is kind of cool. Um, That's pretty neat to like, what? Okay, one, you've already saved like paper, right? Yes. You've made it digital and then you've turned it into a movie. Yes. I dig 100%. it. 100%. So That's you can add a cool. lot of extra fun to your business cards mm -hmm. and save some paper uh, by not having to print these. If you wanted to, you very well could design your business card in Adobe Express and then print it in Adobe Express. There you go. I don't see the cat. I see that. Okay, what is happening? Half of chat is not seeing the cat on the business card. Uh, I bet the pat the cat is like a billion uh, pixels. Like I bet it's like a super high def cat. Um, okay, so that's a great way to be sustainable is to design stuff over in Adobe Express, and you can link directly to it, which is pretty cool. There you go, man. Uh, so we've done that. I love that. Look at you go. Got our got our QR code in there, ready to go. I, I've also seen that you can just kind of save this in a particular, like your photo album or make it a recent kind of thing. So this could be something, even if you don't want to ever print it, it could be something you have on your screen. Someone scans it from another phone, good yep. to go, right? And let's say that we want to do, I'm just going to show you a hack because this is a fun hack to do. Yeah. Uh, let's say that you design something in Adobe Express. You want to do some uh, additional customization to it. You can download it as a PDF. Okay, so we're going to download as a PDF. I'm going to start that download. 
I also am going to open Illustrator real quick. Hold, please. Secrets. Magic. <laughs> it's happening. Yes, I'm opening Illustrator. So I'm downloading that as a PDF, and this can work for any project in uh, Adobe Express. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that project that I just downloaded. Um, and again, I am just going to, right here, open that and watch what happens. It is a PDF, and so when I open it in Illustrator, it is going to be, this cat has to be massive. Oh yeah. Was that QR code made in Adobe Express? Yeah, it was. Nick, while of this course. loads, do you want to show how to do uh, a QR code in Adobe Express? Yeah, we'll do that really quickly here. Here we go. Go back to Adobe Express. We'll go back here, We're ready to go. In quick actions, you've got QR code right here and click on generate. Right in the URL, you drop in whatever URL you are sending them to. This could be your LinkedIn, this could be your website, it could be your Behance page. You go over and you pick from circular or square and you can pick a few colors right off the bat these are kind of brand colors of the project that we're working on you pick your selection go with jpeg and create that code there's your one download it and it's in your download right there ready to go boom easy way it animated for you anna nice uh chat also if you have questions this is a live show if you're watching the if you're watching the replay it's not uh, you, can it, your, it, you can ask your questions on the comments but if you're watching you can uh ask your questions live actually here let's do this chat just because i want you here because i miss you let's um, see it yeah where are you chat where is oh no chat are you not on the screen i know you're here there you are. Hi, chat. There they are. Uh, yeah, ask your questions me. over in the chat. Uh, we can answer them. But I do want to show you over here. Check it out. So we downloaded this PDF from Adobe Express and brought it into Illustrator. And each of these is an independent piece. So every piece that you have wow. in uh, Express is going to come over into Illustrator so you can play around with it. And the background, I think, has a clipping mask on it. Yep, because it's a little bit bigger. And so you can play around and get these elements and kind of work with your design. If you want to do some fine tuning, you don't have to just grab a PNG and then just like throw it together. Yeah. You can actually uh, do an entire uh, design by pulling out of the PDF very, very easily. Which is what, what a great way to leverage from one app to the other. If you've, if you've done something there, or even if a friend has done something there and you want to take it into Illustrator, perfect. Look at that. Oh my God. The resolution. <laughs> yeah, this, no, this, this image is like absolutely massive. Uh, a hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Dun, 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 want, to, dun. want to show one more thing, guys, before you forget, if you are doing a physical business card and you want to still recycle, there is something called seed paper. And this is really, really cool. I'm sure maybe you guys have seen this. Sometimes cards and packaging is done with this. This is actually paper that is recycled. And then there's actual plant seeds inside of it. So basically, if you print on this, you basically can have a section on the back or something and say, instead of throwing this away, put this in soil, water it, and it literally will sprout. So it's got seeds in the actual recycled paper. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's I, I've used it before. I can't remember the client. It was something about like investing in whatever and then watch it grow. Uh, yeah. I, don't hey, know. I can help you with your finances. Yeah, it was a hundred percent a financial thing. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> um, anyway, yes. So you can, uh, grab that paper. It's, it's actually really good. I believe that French paper uh, has some of that, which I love French paper. Yeah. Um, yeah. so we want to talk about, uh, I want to make some yeah. announcements real quick and then yeah. we, then there's more. Uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow is a very special day here on, uh, Adobe live. And that is that we are not having our regularly scheduled programs. Uh, you'll see that there are a bunch of shows that are lined up usually in Adobe Live. Tomorrow, we will not have separate shows. We are doing eight hour stream. Uh, we are doing an entire eight hour stream tomorrow. So it'll all be one block. We'll be streaming all day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it'll be all day. Um, it's gonna be a really, really fun time. Tune in for that. And we're gonna be showing you how to level up your skills in Adobe Express a lot like we did today, uh, but with a little bit of a different take. So we're gonna be hanging out with that. Uh, we're gonna be hanging out all day uh, with some awesome people. I will be there for a lot of it, uh, showing you some really, really cool stuff. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. Literally be there. It, it, tell me you're from office hours if you come, if, you, if you're there. There you go. 
There you go. I need to know. That's the that's the secret word. So yes, eight hour stream. Don't miss it. Uh, and Nick, I do believe that uh, mm. outside of what we have to talk about, we got about like five minutes left in the show, and I think it's time to talk about one more thing. One thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? What is that thing? What What's is going this? on here? What is this? Oh, uh, scanning websites in midair? What is this? Whoa, it's the future. That's right. Uh, uh, some new tech came out this week that we have to talk about because I think it is going to be a big thing for creatives and is going to help to change kind of Ooh. the creative industry yeah. uh, once it comes in. Nick, what are we working with? What is this? We're talking about the Apple Vision Pro and it is their first kind of launch into the AR VR world. Um, if you didn't watch the presentation, first go watch the presentation from yesterday. It's yes. all over the place. Then go to this incredibly, incredibly designed website that Andrew is highlighting right now to show the masterclass in like, here's a new product. Hold what on. do you think? Hold right? on. Watch, what? okay, everyone. Watch yeah. the perspective as mm -hmm. this scrolls in again. We're talking about like great design. Watch the perspective as it scrolls in. That is Stop. not an image. That is yep. like the perspective is changing as I scroll. Yep. That yep. is incredible. Look at that. And it keeps going. And it what stops right there in and locks. the it's world. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yes, this is one of the best. Every time they launch a project, it's one of the best designed projects that there is. This doesn't yeah. fit into our theme of recycling, uh, but <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it is such good design that we had to talk about it. Um, yeah. Nick, what works here for you yeah. as far as like design goes? Or, well, everything, they're telling a story. And we, we've we told you that from day one. That's the ultimate goal and what we do when you're trying to persuade someone to understand it. But I love that they have taken something so new and said, hey, we've not only do we have to create this thing, which is a marvel in technology. If you look into the, the technology and the manufacturing of this thing, it's insane. And I believe it's worth every penny. It's just out of most people's budgets. That's a whole other story but they had to tell you what this is in a website, in a pitch, in a conference, in a keynote. And I think they did a wonderful job of showing us the future of what we as designers and we as creators and we as computer users might be seeing in the future. Um, think about when the iPad came out. We all kind of went, it's just a bigger iPhone, right? It's just a bigger iPhone screen. But look how it is adapted and how it's grown and evolved into its own thing. Tablets are a huge market now and something big. Do you think this is, I guess the best question is, is, is this the first step of something huge or the last step of something that's already fizzled? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Time will yeah. tell. I, like, I, yeah. I don't know because it is so unknown that I'm like, who knows? It might be cool. True. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it depends on the adoption. Of it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with it. Um, yeah. I, I scrolled through this like a billion times because this is just a really cool effect on a website to kind of scroll through. Uh, and what's happening here, I'm just going to explain it. I, we did this on a website for a client uh, once. What's happening here is that basically this is a video, and I don't know if this is the way they're doing it, but this is a video to where they have basically... Uh, broken out all of the frames of that video. And then there's a cue that as you scroll with each click of the scroll wheel, it's loading in the next image. So it's basically like loading in frame by frame. And that's why you can see yes. if I scroll really, really like slowly, you can see that it is just still images that are frame by frame. Mm -hmm. But then if I scroll, it literally looks like a video is playing as I scroll up and down. Uh, and it's just a really cool, simple effect. And again, if you think about wow. kind of the way that video works and breaking down those creative ideas, right? This is the recycling of like animation, right? You're like, oh, we don't have to do like frame animation and we don't have to do video. We can combine mm -hmm. the two into like a stop motion by breaking out a video. I just can't imagine the effect. teamwork and the synergy they had to do for this entire launch. That this is what I dream of working on these, working with teams like this that are I'm sure there was a lot of pain points. I'm sure it was a hell of a challenge to do. Oh, but yeah. My gosh, did they come through with uh, flying colors there? Absolutely. Really cool. uh, so, 
Join us next week. Uh, next week, our theme will be... That's right, I can't tell you. <laughs> we have more secret stuff. I'm sorry, guys. We it keep so many secrets it for depends, you. It depends. Right? Uh, it depends. We can't tell you. Uh, but next week, we will be seeing you for another episode of Adobe Office Hours. It is going to be a very, very, very... Uh, at least two varies, maybe a third very uh, special episode. So yeah. we'll see you next week. It's going to be a great time. And I'll see you tomorrow all day. All day we are live streaming here, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I will see you bright and early at 8 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Nick, do you have any advice going into the weekend? I forgot to ask you. What advice find something you to re- Find something to recycle tomorrow. Yes, find <laughs> something to recycle. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.